G'day everyone, welcome back to the Aaron Engineering Channel, my name's Aaron. So today's video on the shop math, this is a follow on from a couple of weeks ago when I did the caudal uh, distance formula with you. Uh, today's going to be once again focusing on holes around a PCD and I thought this would be a good opportunity to share this bit of knowledge with you. Now, when you're drilling a part uh, around a PCD. Now if it's only four holes that's quite simple because nine times out of ten you can just align your holes with the twelve o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock and three o'clock positions. And that means then whatever your radius is that's the position on your dial wheels or on your digital reader. However if that part is rotated around 45 degrees well now you've got a trigonometry problem. All right? And there's only one way to work that out, and that's to work it out with trig or have a CAD system or have a digital readout with a PCD function on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do today, so my little cylinder here, uh, it just happens to be rotated on that 45 degree angle. Now I've gone into my digital readout here and I've caught up the PCD. However, what about if you've got big sausage fingers like mine and you've keyed in a wrong uh, a wrong decimal here or something like that. You want to be able to validate that before you actually go and drill and wreck the part. So how do we do that? Well we use trigonometry guys and uh, it's very easy, it's not hard to do and if you take a little bit of time doing this you can actually validate it before you drill a hole and waste it, uh, you know, blow customers money or blow your work. All right. So I'm going to take you over to the computer screen now and I'll show you this, instead of doing this on camera like this, it's much easier for me to show you on my actual computer and do a voiceover as well. So let's go over there and have a look at it. I'm only going to cover two examples today. I'm going to show you four holes and I'm going to show you five holes. All right? And five holes, a little bit more mass, but it isn't hard. Look, if someone like me can do it, you can do it. And remember, you just need that little cheap $25 calculator. So let's pop on over and have a look. And then I'll bring it back to the mill. And we'll actually do this here today. Let's have a look at this problem here today. So before we get too carried away, let's just draw a few lines here. Okay. So we can see here that the circles are offset at 45 degrees. So to do this, we need to draw a little triangle. And I've represented that over here. But I'll just to give you an idea, I'll show you what it looks like. We've got the first triangle there, we've got the second piece of the triangle here, and the third one is down here, and we can bring him over so you can have a look at it. So this is what we're looking at here, alright, so there's our triangle, and I've drawn it out to the right hand side so you can see it. Now, remember when you do this, you can't use the diameter, you've got to use the radius because it's from the center of the circle out to the hole. Now keep in mind too that our datum point or our work coordinate is the center of this circle. All right. Now we can see here that the radius is 25 millimeter. The hole is just spaced on the top there and it's a 45 degree angle. So we've got a trigonometry problem that we've got to work out. Now it's not hard, it's very very easy. So let's look at the formula here today. So the formula for this one is to find the y axis. So we've got y value here. All right, to find the y, I'll get rid of that circle there for you. We use sine 45 times the radius. So let's bring up our calculator and let's have a crack at working that out now. So sine 45, right, which will give us this value here, multiplied by our radius 25 and this will give us our coordinate okay and if I pull that down here so my y-axis coordinate will be positive in a positive direction 17.678 all right now you could do this with the dial wheels on your mill you don't need a digital readout I've done it previously you've just got to be mindful of the backlash in your nut okay right so let's look at the next value here our next value we've got to work out is the cosine. All right. So for this one here, this is for x. So this value here we're after. x now is next. And it is cos 45. Let's clear that. So cos 45. Now this value, little hint here, it will be identical to the top one because it's a 45 degree angle. All right. 
equals 707. We move him down. Once again, times 25 value here is positive 17.678. So here's our next problem. And let's say, once again, a 50 millimeter diameter PCD with five holes equally spaced around it. Our starting point or our datum point is the center of the circle. So that's our work coordinate. Our first triangle starts from the center. It goes out, down, and across here. And that's represented to the right-hand side. Our second triangle, once again, starts from here back to the center and across. And that's represented here. So let's take a look at our first one. And that's this hole here. So hole number two. Hole number one is simple because it will just be on the radius. So x0 and y25. But let's look at hole two. And we've got hole two over here. And once again, it's that formula. So let's bring up our scientific calculator. And we've got sine 18 equals 0 0.3 multiplied by our radius gives us 7.7. Let's bring this down so you guys can have a look. And that's the correct answer there. So we've got a, a Y direction movement of positive 7.27. All right, let's work out the X value for hole number two. This will be cosine. So cosine 18 multiplied by 25, which is our radius and it will be 23. So there we have it there, our x direction. So in y, it would be positive plus 7.725. In our y, in our x axis, it will be positive 23.776. Let's have a look at our next triangle here. So this is hole position number three. Now, once we work out two and three, obviously the other holes, four and five, will be a flip or be a mirror of those two. But of course, one will, they'll be negative. So let's take a look at this one here. So hole three, we're going to work out our y-axis first. And it's going to be sine 54 equals multiplied by our radius, 20.225 in negative direction, of course. Now, you may be wondering where, how I found out these angles here. You've got to remember, so we've got 360 divided by 5. So each hole will be spaced at 72 degrees. Okay, and that's how I worked that out here. Because I knew my 90 degree angle, I just knew that 90 subtract 72 was 18. So the minor and the major, and that's how I got those angles there. Let's work out the next one. So it's cosine. 54 equals 0.5877 multiplied by a radius again and 14.695 in X. So notice the X will be in positive and Y is a negative.
Well, that's all I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found the video interesting. Um, I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. These videos take an awful lot of time, and especially when you've got to edit them uh, on the computer like this. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.